Where's my intro? Intro, intro. There it is. This is Eric and Gord. What if we're right? L- listen to the world changing. Every day, where's my intro? It doesn't move. I don't know. Hi there. <laughs> Happy Saturday. It's August 22nd, 2020. I'm Eric talking at you once again from Kelowna, British Columbia, Canada, where... I have a joke about COVID-19, but 95.4% of people won't get it. <laughs> Think about it. You'll, <laughs> you'll, get, you'll get it. <laughs> Maybe not. Hi, <laughs> uh, world. Thanks for listening. Thanks for telling your friends. It's good to be back with you guys. I believe I still have an unpublished episode that I'm trying to get out to you, but it's a little weird. Um, hope everybody's doing okay. Hope you're having a good end of August and your part of the world's not burning down. Mine is starting to. Yes, it is. Uh, it's a little bit frightening, but it's Penticton. It's nowhere near us yet. Um, Lots of time for that to spread over to you. It will. It might. I don't know. <laughs> I wasn't here for the last ones. I had already left town, but they destroyed half the city and it was very, very bad. Mm-hmm. Um... Hi. How's it going, Gord? I'll do that for you. Uh, um, hey, um, doing good. Really needed that last uh, few days away. That was really nice to be able to get away and just camp and have, like, no major responsibility. It was kind of nice. That does sound nice. I have no yeah. idea what that's like, but it sounds fantastic. <laughs> it was beautiful, uh, I have to admit. Um, the For me, the highlight of the entire thing was... Um, really culminated to the the last night um where um i heard about this uh like a lookout point thing where they just have this like uh like walkway built up just so that people know this is on lake erie yes uh yes cool it's on lake erie um and um yeah it's just a beautiful uh little uh plank way walkway that takes you up to this big you know wood made deck thing that's in a full tree clearing. Um, and, uh, it was, it was just the, the full night sky. You could see the Milky way, uh, which was amazing. Um, lots of shooting stars. Um, so I literally just spent probably about, I don't know, five hours the last night, just sitting there, <laughs> taking it all in, loving it. It was peaceful. It was nice. The water coming in the kids. There, it, it was like being on the ocean because, like the um, the, the water was because there was a really nice breeze. So they had this, you had the waves crashing in the background. It was, it was surreal. It was really nice. I can't sleep when it's like that. It's too quiet. I'm so used uh, to just yeah. Vancouver and East Van and just being homeless and listening to traffic and shit that <laughs> I get into a quiet place like that and I can't sleep. Yeah, it's like the fuck. Your white um, noise is a traffic jam. <laughs> yeah. Um, real quick, I want to let everybody who doesn't know know that there's a book on Amazon that I wrote that I would appreciate it if you would buy. It's called The Only Bad Thing That Ever Happened at the Bourbon Hotel. And it's good, and you should buy it. It is spectacular. Uh, so I can attest to it. Let me know when you do. Couple of quick shout outs. Send us an email, by the way. I'm going to set up a new email for you guys, but for now, we'll just, uh, we're, we're opening up Gwyneth Paltrow's vagina, and you can stick your email in there. Gwyneth Paltrow's <laughs> vagina at gmail.com. <laughs> I want to say hello to our friend Sorry. Adam Lippy. He's got a movie coming out this week. Yeah, he sprung that on me. Um, no. It's called Wait, Wait, Don't Kill Me. And it's a, a hip happening comedy about a pandemic that takes over the city of philadelphia um there'll be some promo material coming out uh in conjunction with that very very soon and so awesome for that we interviewed him recently for the show uh to promote it and i'll be putting that up soon next day that was a that was a that was a fun time too it was something yeah he did not care for me Wow. Um, <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> oh, man, I can tell you some stories about work. I'll do it after the air. I won't bore the people with it, but I've got two two at work that just fucking brutal. <laughs> I, I look also, forward to hearing that. Kids, I love my – one of my favorite things to do on this show is to check in on our 
previous guests and see how they're doing, how how much their lives have changed because of being on the Eric and Gore What If We're Right show. And this week, we have the pleasure of doing that with Mr. Roger Nygaard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you guys may remember him from Trekkies. You might know him as the editor of um, Curb Your Enthusiasm. Or you may know him from his new documentary, The Truth About Marriage. But coming out right away, he's got two movies coming out. He's, he's screening two movies online. That's a busy man. That's very, very cool. Um, one of them is called something. The other one's called Six Days in Roswell. Where he goes to Roswell for six days and hangs out with Area 51 people and stuff. <laughs> and that's going to be... The other one's called Suckers. There we go. Um, me and Gord have advanced copies of those. Yeah, we do. That I haven't sent... Did you, No, I haven't sent them to you. Yeah, you haven't sent them to me yet, no. I do but I know them. they exist. I will send them to you. Uh, and they're, they're going to be hilarious. His documentaries always are. And anything to do with Area 51 is always funny to me. Mm-hmm. Because I know what's there, and it's nothing stupid. Uh, so, yeah, Roger Dagger, very cool. And I am still supposed to be plugging podcasts. If I don't get to yours, don't worry. There's no time limit on this. So I'll start doing that again right away. Tonight, at some point, but I don't want to give away the surprise. I'm not going to do it now with that kind of a buildup. No, fuck that. What is going on in the world? Canada has a new finance minister. Uh, Trump is just Trumpity Trump Trumpin. Oh man, is he ever? <laughs> uh, just Trumpin right along that guy. <laughs> it's it's to the point where it's just a it's just a loss of fucking words with this guy. <laughs> uh, just, yeah, trying to shut down the postal system so that people can't vote. Mm-hmm. And and like literally like admits it too. Oh yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. Like, and that's one thing, and this is the one thing, pardon the noise in the background, you got to appreciate that, that at least he's being honest about his corruption. <laughs> You'd think I would, but I don't at all. <laughs> <laughs> like, everybody else would flat out lie and make up some stupid, no, it's a, I'm shutting down the postal system because of a, we a weather balloon. No, 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 no. He's just, yeah, no, I'm doing it, so these fucking idiots can't vote, so only my people can vote. <laughs> um, yeah, that's just, he's just, uh I don't even know what to say. <laughs> I really, it's going to be a funny election. That's all I know. Mm -hmm. I'm that very much certain. looking forward to it. Uh, it'll be very exciting. I don't see Joe Biden. I think they're going to give it to the Democrats. I don't, I think if the Democrats get in, Biden will be out almost instantly. Well, the, the, what's her name? The, the, uh, uh, Harris that he, that's his running mate. Yeah, that's the uh, WWE's Kamala. Yes. Um, literally, every time when she's mentioned, it's always like, new president-elect. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, like, they're already telling you that Biden's just in there as the name that everybody recognizes in the scene. Here's... And as soon as he gets in, he's going he's gonna to fake a stroke, and then he'll be out. I came up with my final prediction. It's I haven't put a prediction on this yet, and now I have it. So there you go. It's out. It's ready. It's in the public eye. Here's what's going to happen. I say he gets elected. Mm -hmm. He steps down for medical reasons with probably before he's sworn in in January. And oh. then she steps up, but... After she's sworn in, she is replaced by a man. Oh. This is my, this is your president for the next four years, beginning 2021. You will have a male Democratic president. I'm not sure which one yet. And she will be out of the picture. Shit. That's a bold one. That is what I believe. It took me a while to come on to it. Usually I'm way earlier, but this one's throwing me off. Um, but I, I finally settled into it last night. So That's what you guys are going to have, America. Look forward to that. And you can thank me when it happens. 
<laughs> Man, we're gonna do such a wicked special episode if that comes into for fucking fruition. That'd be well, I'm great. looking forward to a November episode where we follow the uh, election, of course, because that's gonna be amazing. Yeah. You did such a good job with Justin's election, uh, following it and all day and having it ready for when we got on. Mm. It was very, very cool. I very much appreciated it, and I'm looking forward to doing that. But did I actually November. do a lot for that? I don't remember yeah, doing a lot. A tremendous oh. amount. Oh shit! How about that? Look at um, me go. <laughs> I don't just make this shit up. But yeah, I had it's no idea. Be a lot of fun. But there, America. For just to recap, just so you know, Democrats win the election. Biden steps down before January's inauguration. Kamala steps up, and then the party votes her out and puts a man in her place, guaranteed. And then you've got a useless Democrat for four years. So have fun with that. We've had one for Which almost is... eight, so I feel your pain. Mm-hmm. Very useless, utterly. Uh, and then, let's not forget, we're coming up right on flu season, so that's going to be fun to look forward to now. <laughs> Nobody will have pneumonia. Nobody will have the flu. Nobody will have a cough. Oh, Everybody yeah, this, this, has COVID. This flu is going to be absolutely devastating, and people are going to forget all about COVID. There's my other prediction. COVID is just going to disappear. Everyone's going to have the flu this year, and you're all going to hate it, and you're going to think you were just idiots for even dealing with this COVID thing at all. <laughs> uh, so that's about a month away. Look forward to that. But yep. COVID goes away, I guarantee as soon as the flu hits, because it's going to be the worst flu ever, because no one's prepared for it. Which is a strange statement to make, because you think that just coming through a flu pandemic, that one thing we would be ready for is a flu. No. <laughs> Orange juice, fucking, you know, ginger ale, fucking yeah. soup. No. <laughs> Not happening. So for the record, folks, I just told you how to cure this. Orange juice. Flat ginger ale and soup. I don't think you need all three. Mm-mm. You could mm. do like two or three. Oh, you could do two. I mean, you don't need both drinks. It's just nice to have a change up. Um, not that I care, but Canucks are the only Canadian team in the playoffs. So yay that for sports people. I hope you're enjoying that. Yeah, I just saw I that news. I don't care at all. No. At all. I don't think I've ever been more less interested in fucking sports than I am right now. <laughs> no, and it's nice that they uh, tried to get everybody into it, and the diehards are really excited, but I, the short season was just stupid. I don't even know how long the season was. It was like a game, and now we're in the playoffs. It, it, yeah, it's, it seemed like, I think it was like, it, it seemed like it was like three weeks. Yeah, I think it was, something like that. That's just insane. Uh, and just, I can't, I, who could care? Yeah. I well, not that not. The, I haven't cared about the NHL in many years anyway. But like, as far as I've read, I think the Leafs only played one team. They played them five game. times, and that was it. And, that <laughs> and, they were out. and then they were out because that's yeah. just the thing. The Leafs are just out, <laughs> and no CFL season. The, the CFL is just not happening this year. That makes perfect sense, actually. Well, they don't make any money, and they don't, you know. No, yeah. They're they're making way more money on their fucking serb fucking payments than they are on anything else, though. I guarantee they are. And a lot of them are, like, <laughs> firemen, realtors. Uh, firemen are, are making money right now. They're earning it. They're mm-hmm. earning money right now. And, hey, all the things I said last year about how firemen don't work, when they, when it's time to work, they fucking work. Don't get me wrong. Yeah. This is 364 days a year. They don't really have to. <laughs> but the, but uh, when when they do, they do. So, way to go. But any one of them will tell you they barbecue most of the year. Well, why do you think you have firehouse subs? And why do you yeah. think you have firemen cooking competitions? So, uh, all, obviously, very concerned for the situation. You know, the forest fire season is upon us. Good thing we have trains rushing oil through the forest. <laughs> Instead of that pipeline that we all own that we're not using. <laughs> Oh, man, wouldn't that be something if a chain, train fucking rolls through and something happens and it has to stop and just... <laughs> I hope a train rolls through, goes off the track, and smashes into the pipeline. And then it's just broken <laughs> and sitting there and just covered in oil and 
<laughs> Everybody's <laughs> fucked. Oh, uh, it's genius. That'd be just a... <laughs> and I hope it's a First Nations train. <laughs> just so they can't say it was our fault. <laughs> it's, it's all.